Hey guys, Paul Wilson here from Fat Better Bootcamp, and right now I'm answering some of your live Facebook questions. And Michelle Murphy just asked, it's commonly believed you have to eat little and often. Uh, and fasting is unhealthy as the body goes into starvation mode. So when we break fast, it's stored automatically as fat. What is the truth? Because I'm confused. Okay. There's a few things I want to teach you right now, and the first one, I'm going to start with you and how our bodies um, are designed. Now, back in the day when food wasn't so easily accessible, i.e. you didn't have a fridge to wake up in the morning, go down to and, and grab some breakfast out of, um, you would have had to have got up and gone out and hunted and gathered for your food. So really, you would have gone about eight hours sleeping at night without eating, and you would have woke up and you still wouldn't have been able to eat because there was nothing in the fridge, you would have still had to continue. Until around about, you know, you was 12, something, you was out and about, you would have picked up some berries or something like that and lightly grazed throughout the day. And then if you were lucky, you would have um, been able to bring back some boar or something like that, okay? So then you could have eaten. Um, and while back in the in the cave, the uh, the cave women were probably grinding up some grains or something like that as well for you to eat at the end of the day. So we wouldn't have naturally eaten uh, as much as we would have. And the reason why people are fat and they are getting fatter, people, we are getting fatter. The reason being is that food is so easily accessible. Um, okay, so picture that. Naturally, we would have fasted anyway. Naturally, we wouldn't have had so much easily accessible food, but because of modern times uh, and technology, we've been able to have more um, food uh, available. But think about that, and now think about the profits of organizations like supplement companies, um, supermarkets, dairy industries, da the dairy industry, the bread making industry, etc., and um, start thinking about what they want to achieve. They want to achieve more people buying their product. Okay, so what are they? What's going to be in their interest? Okay, well, let's going to put out some information about um, and marketing material about you've got to drink milk because it's going to make your bones stronger. Not really. Okay, in fact, anything the the French who have the the highest dairy cons consumption guys um, have the weakest and most brittle bones. Okay, and they have the highest dairy um, dairy uh, intake. The reason being is dairy is very acidic and it actually leaches. Uh, uh, minerals out of your bones, which weakens the bones. Okay, um, there's more more calcium in a bag of spinach than there is um, in a glass of milk. But I'm digressing right now. Let's get back onto the subject of um, of why um, you know you should be eating little often. Companies that sell products, things like skinny shakes, protein shakes, and things like that, they they know that it's not possible to eat five to six times a day. They know that. So what works perfectly for them is telling people and putting things out in magazines and, and, and getting celebrities on board to endorse their stuff by paying them a lot of money to do it, is by saying, okay, it's not reasonable for people to eat five to six times a day, so instead have our shake because it's quick and convenient and it's going to give you all this nonsense and, and, and whatnot. Okay, so it works perfectly for them. So they're going to spend millions and millions and billions of pounds each year convincing people that you've got to eat little and often. Guess who told people they've got to eat little and often? It was the bodybuilding industry. And guess what the, is big in the bodybuilding industry? Protein shakes, okay? So you want, they want to sell more protein shakes, they're gonna tell people eat little and often, okay? So there's, in a nutshell guys, Firstly, what your body's designed to do, naturally, because we're modern people, but we still live in an ancient body. And there's what the people who are confusing you, these big these businesses, these organizations that are confusing you by saying do this, do that. Um, but guess what? Listen to you, because many of you watching this video right now have tried all this, eating little, eating often, eating and drinking whatever you like and stuff like that, and still getting away with it and, and cheating and stuff like that. But are you getting the results that you want to see? If you're not, then try something different. If something's working for you, keep doing it. If something isn't, then fix it. There's no right or wrong answers, and failure or failing on a diet isn't a bad thing, it just means 
you know, it's, it's only madness if you can keep doing it. Change it and and then follow a new route until you start ticking those boxes and, and, and uh, you start seeing not just weight loss, but more health, more vibrance and all the important things, you know. We don't want to be on a diet that gives us a bad mood because that's really bad. That's not a way to live. So let's be on a diet that makes us feel good, makes us feel more vibrant, makes our skin, our hair, our nails better, um, makes our, you know, our digestive system running like clockwork, you know. Um, so these are the kind of things that you want to be approaching. Chase health and with health comes fat loss. So is there anything more I can add on there, Michelle? Um, yeah, just if you've got any more questions or anything like that on the subject, certainly ask me and I'll help you out. But in a nutshell, uh, fasting is very, very, very good uh, for for beating the problem which businesses that want you to buy their bread, buy their skinny shakes, buy the, the pasta and the cakes and things like that that's caused obesity. Um, fasting works very well at counteracting the damage that that has caused. Because food is so easily accessible, it's caused problems where people are gaining weight. So fasting is very, very good at improving insulin to um, basically so we can start burning fat instead of storing it. Uh, I think that's it, guys. So if you've got any more questions, keep coming to facebook.com forward slash fatburnerbootcamp. Thank you very much. Great question.